Tom, for uh, West Red Lake, you're starting a uh, exploration build program in November 2017. What's your target looking like and uh, which target is most exciting for you? We are doing some work on the Rowan property starting in November. We have a handful of targets that we're going after. Two of them are in the Rowan mine area. We're going to drill a couple holes near where we had uh, a good result. Earlier this year we had 72 grams over three meters mm -hmm. and so we're going to drill below that and see if we can follow that down and 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 potentially expand that type of result right. to build a bigger uh, richer area of the of that particular deposit and then a couple hundred meters uh, west of that there's an interesting geological contact that we're going to test which could also be potentially a nice deposit of gold in that area and then to the east of that in the structural intersection area there's a couple of areas of the hinge zone that look attractive so we're going to tr try those targets we don't know too much about them we'll drill them and see that's real exploration whereas at the Rowan mine um, we have a pretty good idea of what we're going after so uh, all in all anyone that gets great results is the target we'll like the best. Gold Corp owns 40 percent of the Rowan mine are you in dialogue with them? We are in dialogue with them quite a bit actually they were very involved in this particular program that we're drilling and helped us pick a number of the targets. Yeah. So what's coming up in terms of news flow for the next couple of months for West Red Lake? Well, news flow will uh, basically be around the drilling program. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have some results from the drilling program, we think, uh, in January, roughly. Okay. Yeah. And are there plans to um, release a new resource next year? We're more interested in expanding the, the mineralized envelope and showing the market that we are expanding the envelope mm -hmm. and creating a greater uh, area of of mineralization, gold mineralization. So I think okay. that's probably what's going to happen over next year. And how about a PEA in the future? We're looking at s something like that in the future. We're currently doing internal scoping studies. Okay. So internally we are assessing uh, my, you know, potential mining plans mm -hmm. uh, for the project. Well, let's move on to talk about your past experience because I know you were at Lexum Gold. For investors, can you give us some details on that? Sure. I mean, the company was uh, originally called VG Gold and then became Lexham VG Gold um, and now is owned by McEwen Mining. When I started at that company, it had three gold deposits. It had a small market cap of a few million dollars and I developed it, uh, the company through exploration and development and doing PEAs and, and permitting and uh, we managed to get the company from a, a few million dollars market valuation to a 200 million dollar valuation when it was sold and essentially that's what we're trying to do here again mm -hmm. at West Red Lake it now has a market value of about 15 million and we see potential to Amazing. create the similar kind of market value that we sold Lex and VG Gold for Great. Um, so that's what we're aiming to and do over the next few years. So this should be easy for you. Yes, we're just going to try and do the same thing again. Right. Exactly. Well, lastly, moving back to West Red Lake, can you give us the financial standings for the company at this time? Sure. We have about a, a half a million in cash right now, and Gold Corp's contributing also to the program. So we're we're funded for the, the current work and into into the first part of next year, and then we anticipate that our major shareholders will provide some more funding at the end of the year, as they have every year. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you very much.